Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Moose Grind. And we just took damage for some reason. What, what, what just happened there? What the? Hello there, little moose. Uh, interesting seeing you here, huh? How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing great. Thank you all so much for dropping by as always. Um, well, it looks like we spooked something while we were... Or maybe it was the wolves. It could have been wolves. Who knows? Let's get to smoking, though. I had a dream that there was four great ones on my map, and they were all uh, special fur types, so we're going to we're gonna hope that comes true. Probably not, but we're going to hope, you know. I, I'd be fine with just one, but <laughs> we'll hope for four. Hey, Tony, how's it going? Hey, Duckman, Ryder, Jack, Brittany, Ronnie. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is doing great. I uh, know, Daniel, I haven't. I have not had it. Heard of it, though, but haven't tried it. Hey, Tori, how's it going? Yeah, I remember you, Duckman. Hey, Carter, how's it going? Hey, Sub VR. Hey, Jaden. Oh, really, Eli? Oh, man. Common quad pedals, huh? That that would have been a nightmare for me. If I had that dream, that would have been a nightmare. Two common quad pedals. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I believe I remember you, Daniel. I believe so. I do believe the name seems familiar. Hey, Nuclear Pig, how's it going? What map is that? This is Medved Taiga. Boom. Big males everywhere. I moved a few things around so we got tents in new areas. Because I got to thinking, like, since we don't do, since we don't herd manage our moose anymore, I might as well try to find some of the... Zones that we had abandoned a long time ago that actually have a ton of moose because I feel like the larger numbers the better It'll make it so we can get more moose down per hour You shot your first piebald bull nice Jonathan. That's awesome. That is super awesome How is that thing not going alert it's landing right next to him There we go Nice, we got them both. Off to a great start. Second zone of the day, dropping them. Got your first super rare yesterday. Nice, human legend. That's awesome. Uh, probably not, Kurt. I'm going to stick to PC as it's the easiest to make content on. Uh, great one, Grinds, Bread. Hey, Brayden, how's it going? I am doing quite well. Can I make a video of hotspots on every map when the new update comes out? Uh, maybe. I don't think they're actually changing anything, though. I think everything's going to be the same after this update in terms of, like, animal locations. I don't think they are doing any changes to, uh, need zones or anything like that. How many kills do I think it will take? Uh, let me pop open my, my grinding sheet and see what we're currently at. So we're currently at around 1,800 kills since the last great one. I'm going to say it'll take us 2,000. So I'm going to say 200 more kills. And that's when we'll get it. That's my prediction. I mean, I really hope that it's sooner than that, but... It is what it is. Yeah, that'd be awesome, Eric. Of course I do, goat. How could I forget the, uh, the goat? Look at that one. Hello there. Again, did not get its attention. There we go. Boom. Got your first diamond. Nice, Jonathan. That's awesome. Hey, Glacier, how's it going, dude? 
I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing good as well. Oh, it's 1622. No wonder they're moving. That's pretty crazy, uh, Mercy. That's pretty crazy. It's got to be the initial spawn of a lifetime. Beautiful. We need a lucky moose. Apparently we do, Stinger. Actually, we do. We do have a moose that can be the equivalent of lucky. Last night when I was searching the map, going to other zones, trying to see if we had any stragglers, I did find a piebald at this lake. We have a piebald at this lake, and I don't even hunt this lake, so... We can call that one Lucky 2.0. I'll show y'all him later. Yeah, we can, we can make that Lucky 2.0. Oh, he's still alive and kicking, Austin. Still alive and kicking on the uh, Leighton Lakes. Doing his thing, you know? Doing his thing. There's our moose. Ah, uh, we didn't jump onto it last night, uh, Warrior. Nobody wanted to play, so I, uh, I didn't do the uh, Sons of the Forest stream. I did a second grinding stream instead last night. How do you hold your breath? I hold down the shift key. Shot my second diamond today at 150 kills. Nice, Mulkies. That's awesome. Congrats on your second diamond. Okay, where are the ones that are normally close here? They have decided not to show up, I guess. They didn't get the memo that there's a party going on. That involves a 300 Magnum. That's a decent four. Not bad. Well, reloading would help. Honestly, I need to buy more 22 ammo. There we go. I mean, that's not too bad, Charmaine. That's a good amount of diamonds. Uh, yeah, Greg, that's not bad at all. I didn't get my first diamond until I was level 51, so you're already ahead of what I was. Hey, Ben, how's it going, man? We hit him. Oh, he stopped. They love to do that. The moose love to do that little stutter step. Okay, he's dead. Man, that stutter step makes it so hard to get running shots into them. Nice, Grizzly. That's awesome. That's very lucky. Didn't get the heart. We did get vitals though, thankfully. He'll go down. What would I say my favorite Great One Moose combination is? Uh, Fabled Birch with the typical rack, easily. That combination just looks so good. I don't know if that thing's actually going to die. That was a pretty bad shot right there. Oh, nice, Ben. They're pretty good. I like the Zevias. A lot better for you than regular soda, that's for sure. He was just traveling. 
He, he wasn't even fleeing from anything. Wow. Crazy. Currently grinding for moose right now. Nice, Brady. Nice. Hopefully you get it, man. Hopefully you get yourself a big male moose. Any tips for getting more diamond red deer? If you want to, you could try herd management, which is essentially just leaving the small ones and killing the big ones. Or if you don't want to, then the only way to get more diamonds is to just shoot more males. Shoot more males, and you can try multiplayer hopping as well. Multiplayer hopping can be pretty effective if you uh, know some of the hot spots for red deer. It can definitely be a good option. Any tips for a blacktail grind? Um, search the right half of the map. They're like the exact opposite of whitetail deer. Whitetail are on the left half of Layton. Uh, blacktail are on the right half of Layton. Oh, for sure, Charmaine. Crows would be cool. Then the scarecrow could hunt the crows. And it would be the, the greatest video ever created on Call of the Wild. Hey, Roblox Master, how's it going? Shooting so many moose to get my great one. Got so bored, started hunting wildebeest and got a level 4 diamond. Nice, Zach. That's awesome. Those wildebeest diamonds are pretty cool. Love the way they look. I know a moose went over here. Question is, how far did he go? Gotta be somewhere around here. Um, I did a trophy lodge tour like four days ago, Xerix. Or Xerix. We did one very recently. And then the tour of the rest of my lodge was probably like three or four months ago. So it hasn't been that long since I showed off all my lodges. There's not really anything new to update. I haven't really got anything else to go in there. Ninety-nine percent sure we killed at least two here. I think this other one probably died pretty quickly. Yeah, there it is right there. We see any males from here? It's been a little bit since I've ran around the lake. I think we're going to run around the lake once or twice and see if there's any stragglers. Because there's definitely some that we can't see from our normal um, fast traveling points. Do you think there will be a great one or a reset for Tiabaroa or Medved soon? I don't think so, no. There shouldn't be any resets for any of the maps with the next update, I don't believe. Pretty sure Jaxi said that there is no resets. So I don't think we're going to get any anytime soon. Okay, that's our zone over there that we always hunt. Huh, maybe there isn't anything like too crazy. Maybe we didn't miss any stragglers. Let's see if I can make this long shot. Nope, we missed it. Ah, out of render, no. The first one definitely died though. In fact, I just saw the uh, the pressure pop up. Your codex is really off on everything. Mine too, AJ. The codex is pretty uh, inaccurate, sadly. Sadly, there's a lot of uh, updates that have messed up the codex. What was my first thought when I saw this game? Um, that it was going to be an improved version of the Hunter Classic, which it turned out to be completely different, but... Back when I heard of it, it was... It was when the Hunter Classic was really the only competitor in the hunting space. That was like the only game that anybody played in terms of hunting. And so, the news of Call of the Wild was a pretty big thing. 
And a lot of people were really hoping it would be like classic, but with better graphics. And turned out that it wasn't. It was more of a little bit more arcade style game. But it still ended up being pretty cool. And my first thought was like, oh my gosh, these graphics look insane. This game looks amazing. Do that real quick. Also, I need to I need to update my stats real quickly. Because I believe I got one more rare before I started up the uh, stream. So I gotta add that. We've had five rares in about 1,800 kills. Honestly, not terrible. It's not too bad. I'll take it. I'd say it's a little bit on the low end, but it's moose, so can't really ask for too much. We kind of expect the moose to be a little bit inconsistent and weird. Oh, oh, just like that. His movement patterns are inconsistent as well. <laughs> hey, Alyssa, how's it going? You didn't miss too much yet. We just started up. Um, is it a solo male zone, uh, short stories? If it's a solo male zone, the, the zone would disappear whenever you shoot it. What's the coolest albino in my opinion? The Sika deer are really nice. The, uh, the albino Sika deer are one of my favorites of all time. They did such a good job on them. So amazing looking. Uh, yeah, that'd be great, Ben. Or maybe just do a, uh, maybe just do a command that's for all of my lodge tours. Or at least my two most recent lodge tours. I think that would be good. The two most recent lodge tours in a command. Uh, Necron, thank you for these seven months. Yeah, seven months already. Crazy, right? That is insane. Amazing how fast uh, time flies by. That's a male. Can we get the heart? We did. It's honestly difficult to hit the heart when their head's down like that, so I'm surprised we hit it. Did the new weapons pack come out today? No, not today, Cooper. It'll be out the 14th. You have a super rare Sika deer. That's in crazy, New Zealand boys. Did I just say that's in crazy? We're off to a good start, guys. <laughs> but that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Just smoking some moose as always, you know. How to get rid of hunting pressure? By hunting other areas. So like, let's say I've got a bunch of, bunch of hunting pressure at this lake right here. All I would have to do is hunt different areas and the hunting pressure would slowly clear away. What rare did I get before stream? You will see in tomorrow's video. Can't spoil it, you know. Yeah, Carter, I think that would be cool. Had a lot of people uh, say that. Seen so many requests for something like that. And honestly, it would be cool. It would be really nice. Uh, we want to at some point soon, Kevin. It's just a matter of finding a time. Uh, the 14th is going to be the new DLC, and there's going to be early access a few days before, most likely, so... It'll probably be sometime after that. Maybe like a week, maybe two weeks after. Probably like a week after I can try. We'll we'll figure it out. Um, Bree's mom is moving over here as well on the 10th, so it's a, it's a pretty busy time for us at the moment. But we will try to make some time for it. What's my favorite great one? My favorite great one is the moose. The moose looks so good.
Is he hit good? Yeah, he is. Nice. Oof, those weren't good, though. That one had to have hit. There's no way that it missed. Get anything rare yet? Nothing crazy yet, Ross. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum, uh, Demolition Hunter. What's the biggest great one that I've had? Probably one of my big rack whitetail. What are you talking about, Mason? You good, bro? Casey's like one of my best friends within the uh, the Call of the Wild community. I can tell you he doesn't need my help. Nor does he want it. Is this right now? I'm assuming you mean is this live? Yes, it is live. Would you want more rack styles or fur types for the Great One Red Deer? Oh, most certainly. It's very weird right now that the Red Deer only has one fur type and only four antler combinations. I, I don't understand why they did such a little variation with them. Oh, albino. Yo, we got an albino. Let's go. That's our first albino since uh, getting back to the grind. Look at him. That's a wonky dude, too. Look how weird he is. That is such a strange albino. Oh, it's trying to make me dismantle that. <laughs> All right, let's try to sneak up on this thing. I kind of want to bow it just to change things up a little bit. Like, uh, use the crossbow. Crossbow could be fun here. I saw a lot of you asking if I would use the crossbow yesterday on one of those diamonds. So let's do it for this albino right here. Got to get the right arrows, the 600 tracers. There we go. Hey, Unlimited, how's it going? You made it just in time. Nice, Hunter CJ. Uh, no, Riley, it's not bad to do two great one grinds at once. I mean, technically, I'm doing two at once right now. Because we're doing the uh, moose grind, and then we also have the whitetail grind on Layton. Actually, I'm doing three because I got the New England whitetail grind also. Uh, there's nothing wrong with doing multiple great one grinds at once. Look at that little guy right there. About 200 meters away, we're going to move up slowly. Oh, I'm feeling great, Kyle. To be honest, it never really affects me too much. I, I've gotten pretty lucky to where I don't get affected by it that much. I mean, I guess you could say that's a curse as well, though. I still need to go through the comments and pick it, uh, Nikki's. I need to go through the last uh, American Marksman video and pick through the comments and find a winner. Oh, is it being weird, Ben? Is it, is it being strange? Look at that beauty. It may be a small one, but it's a cool one. Super wonky. Come on. Well, they noticed. Come on, look at me. Oh, oh my gosh, that was nasty. Oh my gosh. 
That was a nasty hard shot. Wow, I can't believe we just made that hit. That was crazy. If you didn't know, when you zero to 50, the bottom dot is 90 meters, so. Oh, that was definitely more than 90 there, though. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's gotta be my best shot that I've ever made with the crossbow. On a beautiful albino as well, look at him. Such a strange rack. That's such a strange 50-50 rack. Boom. Love to see it. Albino moose. Let's tax that bad boy. And uh, get a look at it in here. I mean, this lighting kind of makes it look pink, but it is what it is, I guess. Still really awesome. Yeah, it's a very strange rack. Very cool moose, though. Yesterday, we got a Mela. And I think one piebald, too, right? And then today, we got ourselves an albino so far. Not to mention the uh, rare that I got this morning that will be in a video tomorrow. No spoilers, you know. Y'all will figure out what it is soon enough. What's my favorite fur variation for the Great One Moose? The Fabled Birch Tanner. It looks so beautiful. Fabled Birch, Fabled Two-Tone, Fabled Oak. Those are like my top three. Uh, the Ashen and the Spruce are very close behind. And then the only one that I really don't love is the Fabled Spotted, or is that what it's called? Spotted? Speckled. Fabled Speckled, I believe, is the name. I don't really like the Fabled Speckled that much, but it's still cool. You know, I wouldn't be mad with any of them. I'd be happy no matter what fur type we get. Unless it's common quad paddle, then I might be a little sad. Hey Justin, you missed a uh, level 3 albino moose. Or was that a level 2? I actually didn't look. A fabled apple pie grouse? Uh, that's a good, that's, yep, that's a good trophy, yep. Yep, yep. Fabled apple pie grouse. That's what I need. I need that in my lodge. <laughs> you killed a piebald. Is that rare? Yeah, that would be rare, Rocket League. Unless it's a mallard duck. That's the only piebald that isn't rare, I believe. What's my favorite rare? Yours is the crowned wildebeest. Um, The melanistic pheasant is my favorite rare in the game. It's got such a beautiful look to it. There's just something about the blue hues throughout the feathers that just makes it one of the most beautiful rares in all the game to me. Come on. Well, it'll go down. It wasn't a clean hit, but it was still a hit. It's enough to bring him down, at least. I uh, know what most the 12-hour stream is whenever the update hits for early access. Whenever we get the early access for uh, the new DLC, that's when we do the 12-hour. I honestly might do the 12-hour. I actually might do two 12-hours, to be honest. I might do the 12-hour on the first day of early access, and then also... A 12 hour stream on the first day of full release. So on the 14th, and then on whatever day we get early access. Because I really badly want to get a great one moose with the new rifles. But obviously, I don't want to get it on the early access build, I want to get it on the, uh, the full build. So most likely we'll do a couple 12 hour streams. One to try and get a great one with the new rifles and uh, one to do early access. Oh, we almost had the triple heart shot, but I whiffed it there.
Come on, man. One of those had to have been vitals. None of them were vitals. Oh my gosh, that's got to be the worst shooting I've ever done. That was that was painful to do and probably painful to watch as well. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Well, he'll go down. Adam, thank you for the 20 months, dude. That is so crazy. 20 months. My gosh, dude. 20 months. All right, I'm almost positive I saw the moose die over here. Oh, literally right there. He just died right there. Let's mark that. Once again, thank you for the 20 months, Adam. That's crazy. 20 months as a member. Absolute legend, my guy. What should the next great one be? I really want it to be a blacktail deer or a mule deer, but if they go with the Hirschfelden species, like I'm assuming they will, I want it to be fallow, roe, or eurobison. Preferably fallow out of all those, though. Would you like a black-maned lion for the next great one? That would be cool. I've, I've seen that uh, idea floating around quite a bit over the years. Could definitely be a really good great one. To be honest, there's a lot of great ones that could be really amazing. I would love to see a uh, leucistic for a great one lion as well. Like a leucistic and then the black maned one and then also... What's it called? The um... I kind of like KC's idea as well. Like a, a cape lion. They're extinct now I believe but as a great one, it would kind of be cool if you could get one of those cape lions, right? Like it was one of the last ones that they, they didn't know that they were still in existence, but you found one. Could be a cool concept, but could also cause some problems, I could see. We're on Medved Taiga, Hunter Tay. We're on Medved Taiga, smoking all the moose. Good old Medved Taiga. Not the rapper, but the mapper. What do you think the next map will be? Um, I hope it's Africa 2.0. But in my opinion, I think they'll probably go with something different. My guess is another European reserve. I, I just feel like they're going to go with something... Not United States, because people have been complaining about constant United States maps, but I also don't think they're going to give us Africa 2.0 like I'd love to see. I feel like we're, we're going to get something in Europe, like maybe... Maybe Sweden, something like that. How to get maps, you can only play Savannah in the first two. Um, You have to purchase DLC, Hunter Tay. So you essentially go to the uh, the store on whatever platform you're on and just type in Call of the Wild. It should bring up all DLCs related to it as well as the base game. We hit him. He's going down. One more just for good measure. Yeah, no problem, Hunter Tay. You want a jungle map? That would be really cool, B-Dog. Honestly, if they did Africa 2.0, they could totally do like the uh, like the African rainforest. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. We definitely do, K-Mac, I agree. You hope it's Sweden because you live there? It's... Definitely a chance that it could be Axel. I wouldn't mind seeing a uh, a Swedish map. I think it could be cool. I don't actually know too much of like what the species would be, but I think it would look cool. I think it would be a cool map. And I know for a fact there is some unique species that could be there. The bug fix map. Yes. Yes, duck. That'd be great. No, Max. I haven't grinded red deer in months. To be honest, the fact that we've got all the racks already kind of made me not want to grind for red deer anymore because I've already I've already seen every great one rack I could ever want. 
So there's not really any point for me to go back to Red Deer until they add something new to the Red Deer Great One. Which I doubt will ever happen. Which is why we're focusing on great ones where we still uh, need to get some different combinations from them. Like the moose, there's still so many combinations I don't have. Uh, with the whitetail, I'm still missing the typical rack, and we also don't have a fabled piebald, which we probably never will, but it's uh, cool to think that it's a possibility. And then as far as the bear goes, we still need all of them. We still need all of the great one bears. Uh, thank you, duck. Let me swap that over. Boom. There we go. Now it's on live chat instead of top chat. Well, did not take him down. Later, Lucy. Thanks for being here as always. Yeah, Pixter, that could be cool. I don't know if they'll do any uh, Asia maps though, because I think there is some pretty strict hunting regulations there. If I'm not mistaken, they have some very strict hunting regs. Um, four and below, Josiah. Is a level three easy Capricali a guaranteed diamond? I believe it's not guaranteed, but it's it's very close to being guaranteed. There's a high chance that it'll make it. Unlike this moose we're looking at. Come on, can we get the shot into him? Nice, we actually got a vital hit there. That looked like either a neck shot or a heart shot. He dropped so quickly. You think they should add elephants to the game? I think they should, but I don't think they will. That's kind of my stance on it. I think it would be good for the game, but I don't think they have the technical abilities to make an elephant right now. Like, their game engine already has problems with, uh, rendering long hair on animals and we don't even have a trophy lodge that could fit a lion so I don't think lions will be in their scope of things they want to add and that's aside from like the things they mentioned before with it being controversial and them kind of steering away from it because of that do a real life hunting vlog I want to eventually Zayden it's just a matter of finding time to do it Right now, I'm a full-time content creator and dad, so it's hard to find time to go hunting or fishing. You think they'll add muskox? I think maybe. If they can ever get to a point where their engine does better with long hair, then I could totally see them doing it, but until then, it's probably not likely. Yeah, me too, K-Mac. I can never stick to a bear grind. I try to, but it's really difficult. Uh, yeah, Nikki's, I do. Nothing there. Nothing there. I'm using both of them, Lucy. I'm kind of bouncing back and forth depending on the distance of the animal. I actually have two uh, 300s equipped right now. One with the Argus on it, the other with the Hyperion, and then depending on the distance, I will use like one or the other. Um, if you're talking about the like population distribution update they did to bears, Lizzie, yes, I, I do wish I had got mine before then. That looks big. Ah, he's decent. He's not huge, but he's decent. Boom, double quick scoping. Love to see it. 
You think they should add more multi-mounts? Definitely coins. I feel like every update should come with at least one or two multi-mounts. Because that's something that we could really use a lot more of. The thing is, like... We don't necessarily need tons of new animals and stuff like that, right? I feel like if they just added a bunch of mounts to existing animals, it would give everybody more things to grind for, right? Like, even if they don't add a new great one or a new species, just new multi-mounts to grind for would be huge. It would make it so, like, in between updates, we actually had some extra stuff to go for. I guess in between map updates, I should say. Do you want to see a great one, Wolf? If they can make it interesting, then yes. At this point, I'm kind of down for whatever they want to do with Great Ones. They do on some things, Tropic. They they listen to us on a lot of things. Like, we've been asking for skins for a while. They listen to that. Um, I think it's more of like they have to actually look at everything that we want and think, like, what can we realistically do? I think that's the big thing, is that some things that we want in the community are just very difficult to implement. Like, uh, for example, the elephants would require a brand new trophy lodge, as well as it would be the biggest animal they've ever created, so I imagine there's a lot of technical limitations around it. And then we've got stuff like trail cams that we've been requesting for a long time, but I imagine it's probably one of those situations where having all those trail cameras active on your map at once, and it having to render all of those, like, images that those cameras are currently looking at, I could see it causing performance problems, so... I do think that there's probably some things that we request that just aren't physically possible on their graphics engine. And then there's other things that I'm sure they just don't want to do. At least we're finally getting the uh, 338 and 7 mil bolt action. That's really nice to see. The way I see it is there's some things that they listen to us on. Other things where they're like, mm, nah, we, we don't really need that. And then there's some things where maybe they don't realize how highly requested it is. And then the rare few scenarios where it's probably just not technically possible on their engine. Combination of everything, I feel. How would you even use the trail cams? You see, my idea for the trail cams is that you could set up trail cams at, like, your need zones, right? Like, I could set up a trail cam, let's say, at this need zone over here. That way, I could use my phone right here, the, uh, the hunter mate, and maybe I could press a specific button and it'll enter all of my, like, trail cam feeds, right? And I can cycle between all my trail cams. And that way I can see what the trail cam is seeing just by using the phone in-game. And then when you're done, just put it away. I really think that would be a cool way to implement trail cams. And then, like, instead of going to an area that's really far away from my normal run, I could just check the camera, see if anything has appeared there. Because there's a lot of scenarios when you're grinding where... You may have animals that just disappear out of your main zones. Like, you may get respawns that just don't come back to the same place you shot them. And you could use trail cams set up at other zones to see if it moved to one of those. I think that would be a good way to use them. Yeah, we're using the 300 Magnum, Lucy. It's a very good rifle. One of my favorites as of now. Where's this other moose? There's... There he is. There he is. I was going to say, there's at least one more here. I know that for a fact. And he's right here. 210 level 4, not bad. But it's not a great one. Where's our great one? Fabled Spruce last night. Nice, came back. I hope you get better soon, though, man. That's pretty cool that you got a Fabled Spruce, though. I wouldn't mind a Fabled Spruce. It's definitely not my top most wanted fur type, but it's growing on me over time. It really is. I do think it'll be cool if we were to get one. This other one died somewhere over here. What's my least favorite great one? Uh, the Black Bear. 
primarily just because they made it way too difficult to even find Black Bear. They, they're always so late to their need zones. Makes it difficult to even hunt them. Makes it unfun, too. I think the Great One Moose is beautiful. Or not Moose. Uh, the Great One Bear is beautiful. It's just... They're not fun for me to hunt, in my opinion. But they are pretty cool, I gotta admit. They look nice. Would I want a map that's only ducks? I mean, that's basically Rev on Tuli Coast. I know it's not only ducks, but there's a lot of ducks on Rev on Tuli. I don't know if I'd play an all duck map that often. If that was the only thing to hunt for. I feel like it would be very limited on its like fan base. You haven't missed too much, Heather. We got one rare. It was a really small albino. That has been the only trophy on the day. Wow, we somehow got the hard shot on the second one, but not this first one. That's crazy. We hit the difficult shot and missed the easy one. Oh no, Nathan. That's not good, man. That sounds like a terrible time and a half. Uh, it's probably not going to help you out too much, Nuclear Pig. My map is very much set up to my zones, right? And my zones are going to be different than your zones. I've got 120 moose zones or something like that. It'd be difficult to go over all of them for you. And obviously my tent setups, they're not going to work for you because you're probably going to have animals in different areas. Am I ready for the new DLC on March 14th? I am. It's honestly going to be one of the best uh, weapon packs they've ever released. I'm very excited for it. I, I just cannot wait to use that 338. I am dying to get a hold of that thing. I think it's easily going to be my new moose grinding rifle. An extra shot compared to the 300 plus more power. Really can't go wrong with that. It's going to be a monster of a rifle. How to get zones? Just running around the water during their drink time, nuclear pig. Run around the water during their drink time. Spot every moose you see. Um, pick up every track that you find on the ground. That is like the best way to get all your zones. One thing to remember is moose can be at every single body of water on Medved. And that includes like iced over rivers and stuff. Anything with ice, it can still count as a drink zone. Did I miss the hard shot on that first one? I did. Oh no, we gotta reload. Well, that's gonna make it so he'll die much slower. There he is, right there. All right, let's uh, mark that down. Approximately right there, I guess. Did a random disturb vegetation check and it turns out I have an albino rabbit on your latent lakes? Nice, Foxy, that's awesome. Those albino rabbits, uh, the latent ones, what are they again? The, uh, the jackrabbits? The white-tailed jackrabbits? An albino for that is very rare. One of the more rare rares in the game. You really don't see them that often at all. Pretty sure I've only ever killed one of them. How long will the live be? Uh, probably a few hours. Whenever I'm grinding moose, I kind of lose track of time and just go crazy with it. Nice little level four. Didn't get great shots, though. And a uh, little level two there. Got a rare albino Mexican bobcat. That is awesome, the hunter. That is awesome. That's really rare as well. You never see rabbits at all? Same here. The rabbits elude me. Is that a dime? Oh my gosh, that's a diamond. Oh, actually, that might be a troll. Um, mm, that's like... Ah, it's got both... Okay, there's paddles on both sides. That might be a diamond. He might troll, though. That might be a troll. Uh, I don't know. Is it going to troll or is it going to make it? 
Do you guys think we should try to crossbow it? The crossbow went so well on the albino. And now that I think of it, I think I forgot to save the replay of the albino. Oh no. Let me look. I did. I forgot to save the replay. I'm going to have to go back into the stream and find it. Ah, oh, man. You guys do want to see the crossbow? Okay. Let's try to uh, find him then. He's right in the brush like that. That's that's unfortunate. Not great placement. Well, I'm going to have to remember to uh, go back into this stream and save the stream. That way I can pull the clip of us heart shotting that albino with the crossbow. Can't believe I forgot to save the replay. Can we get his attention? Hello, moose. There we go. Gosh, I can't see him very good. I don't like that spot he's in. That's really rough. We got to sneak up and try to get him. Because he is right in the brush. That's terribly unlucky. Tenev. Come on, let me spot him. Yep, yep. I'm right here, buddy. I'm right here. No, don't go. <laughs> Why is he going that way? I need to get him alerted. Distance. 56. Ah, oh, this angle sucks. The wind's about to be right at him as well. I might have already spooked him. Um, I don't have the moose collar on me, River Junkie. I don't really use the collars too much, to be honest. I think we can just sneak up on him. Moose are kind of dumb in Call of the Wild. Might have spooked him. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, I did get an albino earlier. I think he's spooked. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, we're stalking a big diamond, Kato. We're going to try and take it with the crossbow, but I can't find him. He's somewhere tucked away deep in the brush. There's really no hope in seeing him unless we either spook him out or loop around till we get to a spot where we can see him. Nice, Philip. That's awesome. Uh, you would have to wait until I end up doing, um, until I end up doing multiplayer, uh, Nuclear Pig. I plan to do a stream somewhat soon, um, like a multiplayer one with viewers.
Biggest moose is 301 and it was your first diamond moose too? That's crazy, dude. That's pretty incredible. Cows there. Are they... Okay, they're leaving. Uh, this might be our opportunity to see that diamond. They are currently leaving. We gotta be extra careful though. I don't know where he is, how close he is. Or if he's even still here. I might want to sprint a little bit because that should get him to go alert and if he goes alert, he'll alert us to his position. And if nothing happens, he's probably already gone. I don't think he's here anymore. I think he's gone. There's no way he's still here. No way that he's still here. Yeah, he's gone. Where did he run off to? Alright, let's do a quick time reset. Kinda had a feeling that was gonna happen. The wind was really bad for a while. Uh, yeah, I've played the angler. Has potential, but I think the angler needs a little bit of work before it'll be, like, amazing. Is a level 5 guaranteed diamond? No, it's definitely not guaranteed. Big ears, great one, mouse next. Yes, please. Give us the great one, mouse, with uh, the world's largest mouse ears. That'd be phenomenal. Be the best great one in the game. Oh, hey, there he is. Not a bad moose. That guy's looking pretty good. You know, I'm really tempted to try something stupid. We gotta get his attention first, though. There we go. Can I... He's moving. No, Hunter, do not. You stay back. Not letting you ruin this like you always do. Yeah, let's just get a little bit closer. I think you guys are right. Let's play it safe. Play it safe on this guy. Well, that got him alert. He's 80 meters away. We could make that shot, I feel. But I kind of want to get to 70 because then I'll know it's going to be the second dot that I got to aim with. Don't go back there. Ah, <laughs> uh, you silly moose. It's coming back, though. He's like 85 away. He's coming closer, though. We ankle shot him. I I guess the wind is uh, a little bit more strong than I realized. Well, we're going to try and save him with a 300, I think. Wait, did I even... 
I don't think I even hit him, actually. Wait a second. Did I? I missed him. I believe so. Yeah, we completely missed him. It got stopped by a... By a branch. It literally got stopped by a branch. Let's see if we can find it. He'll come back, but... That's wild. No, I don't think I hit him. I don't think I did. Oh, wait, we did. No, we did hit him. Wow. Why wasn't he acting like I hit him? That was so strange. Yeah, that wind is ridiculous. Super strong wind. He should come back down, though. I don't think that'll actually kill him. I believe the 600 grain... I believe the 600 grain arrows, or I guess bolts, I don't think they will kill it. I think we still got a chance to recover this with the bow. I think we got to go ahead and try to track him down and get him again with the bow. I don't think he'll die. Yeah, it's kind of what I figured. I don't think it'll kill him. I think we should be able to uh, track him down and get a second shot into him. For sure. The question is, where did he go? How far did he go? And is he going to start coming back or will we have to keep tracking him? Not going to do any more time resets though because we already time reset once. And I kind of just want to track him down and take him down in these trees. What are the best maps to get? Um, my personal opinion is that Tiabaroa, Silver Ridge Peaks, and Revon Tuli are uh, some of the best. Those are some of my favorites. He probably started flying, probably. Yeah, he went uh, airborne. We're never going to see him again. All skill on the ankle. Exactly, Raring. Hey, Scarecrow never said that he's good with bows. Y'all know that from the past, you know? Scarecrow's not exactly a bow hunter here. Disturbed vegetation or pack mule. They're both really good. I kind of lean towards disturbed vegetation as there's been many times where I've just picked up a disturbed veg and found like a, a melanistic or an albino from it. I definitely value uh, the disturbed veg over pack mule, but they're both really good. Um, we got... How does this not give me cover? What? This doesn't give me cover. How is that a thing? Three more ankles and he won't be able to walk. True, true. Would be nice if that was actually a thing in Call of the Wild where you could essentially immobilize them if you shot them in the leg enough. It would be realistic. Are they coming back there? Hey, Hunter, you're going to need to chill there, buddy. Barking at everything. He's got to come back this way. We already see some of them moving in. Question is where? It 
It honestly might be better to move out into the open, kind of where this cow is going. Where's the hidden lake? Uh, which one? There's a lot of hidden lakes. Oh, she's aggressive. Hi. No. Stop it. Oh, really log the kill? That's crazy. I think it's one of those things right now where, like, Sometimes you'll load in and it'll look fine, and then other times it won't. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I think we're just going to have to reset the time again. I don't think he's going to come back. But he should come back if we reset the time. Hopefully. Maybe not. Gosh, he's going to do this. He's not going to come back. We might have to go hunt some other zones and then come back here. It's looking like he's going to be really stubborn. Yeah. Three time resets and still not back. We're going to have to come back later. Oh, well, though. It is what it is. We'll get him eventually. Anything good? Yeah, we got ourselves an albino earlier, and then uh, we're chasing after level 5 right now. We gotta wait for it to get back to its zone, though. I mean, that's the way to do it, uh, Juggalo John. That's the way to do it, man. Absolute legend. Beautiful. Uh, really, the only thing that it does, uh, Duckman, it really depends on like what you're doing it for, right? If you're doing herd management and you're stacking them, right? I really believe the only purpose is just to get more of the opposite level, like high levels to get small, smaller ones, smaller ones to get larger ones. It's essentially the quick breakdown of it. Uh, no, JJ. We used to, but I don't anymore. No, we haven't found that level 5 moose yet, uh, B-Dog. We're waiting for him to get back to his zone. We got that level 5. We hit him once in the leg, but, uh, he hasn't died yet, and he hasn't come back to his zone, so we're kind of just waiting on him. <sighs> Excuse me. What do I want the next great one to be? I would like the next great one to be a blacktail deer or a mule deer, but I think it's probably going to be like a fallow or a euro bison or a roe deer because that's a Hirschfelden's, uh, those are all Hirschfelden species. I'm six foot, uh, Jairz. Lion would be a cool one as well, definitely. Couple male moose there, but nothing crazy. Yeah, 
yeah, Roe Deer have a drink time. I can't remember what it is, though. I think it's like 13 or 14 or something like that. Nice, we got both of them. Maybe, either. I'm not sure yet. We might end up doing some uh, later. What are you talking about, uh, Nikki's? What giveaway? What do you mean giveaway? The only giveaway that we've got going right now is for a code in American Marksman. And then we also have the, uh, the giveaway from the... The fallow video, but that's not for, uh, that's not for, like, a PlayStation 5. That's for, like, a, that's for, like, a, a gift card code for your select platform. I don't, I don't do giveaways where I have to physically ship an item to somebody because then they would know my address. And I don't have a P.O. box or anything, right? So, I just, uh, I avoid stuff that I have to mail, you know? All my giveaways are stuff that I can deliver via Discord. Do I use the Argus? I use both the Argus and the Hyperion. Kind of go back and forth between them. Actually, let's go to this one over here. Let's do the... Hyperion scope and drop him on the spot. Beautiful. I'm doing good, X Hunter. Hey, Red Deer Slayer, how's it going? Y'all made it just in time. We've got a level 5 moose on the map. We're trying to get him down, but he's being very stubborn. First time we spooked him off. Second time, uh, the wind carried our bolt from the chest clear down to the bottom, like left on his ankle. There we go. This is usually a good zone here, so let's see how many are here. What gun am I using? I'm using the 300 Magnum Lizard. How many moose zones do I have? Over 115, Lori. I believe around like 110 to 120 is my moose zone count. Did I get the diamond? We're still waiting for it to come back to its zone. It's being really stubborn. Hoping it'll show up soon, though. He is getting shoved around. And he's just dodging all the bullets, too. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, he stopped again. Why do they do that? We got him. Okay, he's down. <laughs> oh, I hate it when they do that little stutter stop right there. Stutter step stop, whatever you want to call it. I already answered you, X-Hunter. Please stop spamming the same thing, dude. I already answered you. Well, let me read that. Someone with your name got my email and sent me a picture of PS5 VR headset and s No, it wasn't me. I already told you I don't do giveaways like that. Why- I would never email somebody. I would never email somebody for a giveaway. That's just- That- that has scam written all over it. I- that's not the way I do giveaways. And like I said, I don't do giveaways for physical items because that would involve shipping them to you and that would involve giving away my address, right? So I don't do like physical items as giveaways. 
It was a hundred percent a scammer. Don't don't talk to them. Hundred percent a scammer. There we go. I think the other one probably got away. Let's go back to where that diamond was. We'll see if he's back to his zone. He definitely might be at this point. I I'd say he has to have calmed down by now. Which side do I use the most? Probably the Argus, but I do use both of them a decent bit. But I'd say I use the Argus more. What's my favorite diamond? My favorite diamond is the red deer. They're just so impressive looking. Yes, Moose is being so stubborn. What am I going to do, guys? Like, I, I don't know how we can get this thing back here. I don't want a main menu because that'll eliminate that shot that we took on him. And I vowed that that would never be done again. What the... I did not want to get up there. But he's not showing up. So I don't know what we can do here. He's not showing up because I shot him. Neither is his herd. I'm assuming they're still spooked. Is light bronze rare on a turkey in New England? I don't think that's rare, no. Yeah, only one moose here. Something's up. They don't want to come back to their zone. I don't know what we can do, guys. No, he didn't die. Uh, we hit him in the ankle with an arrow, so there's no way that he died. Uh, yeah, Megatron, you missed a level 3 albino, and then we're chasing down a diamond right now, but the diamond's being really stubborn. Like, super stubborn. 300 is part of the uh, Yukon Valley DLC. They sometimes drink nervously in the trees. Oh gosh, I swear if it's up there in the trees. I don't know, Megatron. You haven't missed us taking down the diamond, though. It's being really stubborn and won't return to its zone, so we're trying to find it. Oh, reloading would help. Yeah, that would definitely help. Hey, Cage, how's it going? Why did your 22 make your moose flee? Were you too close to them? If you're within 150 meters and you shoot next to them to try and do the 22 trick, it will not work. And also, if you're using the 22 AR, for some reason it doesn't work. We're not sure why, but for some reason the 22 AR has a much larger spook range. It was 90 meters? Okay, yeah, that explains it then. You were too close to do the 22 trick. If you're that close, you have to shoot straight up into the air to get the 22 trick to work. It's kind of weird, like uh, whenever you're 150 meters or more, you can shoot next to them and have the bullet land by them, but if you're within 150, you gotta shoot straight up. We're currently on Medved Taiga, Wes. What's my favorite gun? My favorite gun currently is the 308 AR. I think once this weapon pack releases, that might change. It's really hard to say. Because the 7mm bolt action and the 338 bolt action look pretty incredible. I got a feeling that 338 might end up being my favorite gun in the game. Seems pretty incredible. Great one next run this lake. We'll see, do it, we'll see. Definitely is a possibility. You never know. What's my favorite great one? The moose, Jackson. I love the moose. How do you know the distance by looking at the map? I will show you real quickly. 
I gotta spot an animal first. Watch him call it. Imagine. How far am I into the grind? Like 1,850 kills since our last one. This is our longest moose grind of all time. Okay, so for example, I just spotted this guy, right? So the way that you find out the distance to it is you open up your map, you zoom in as far as it'll let you, and then put your mouse or cursor, depending on what platform you're on, in the middle of the previously spotted thing. And then you look in the bottom right, and it'll say 190 meters down there. So that means that I'm 190 meters away from this moose. And that's how you can tell the distance without the uh, range finding binos. He moved! Rude. What a rude moose moving on us. Have Rev, Tiabaroa, and Yukon, what should your next map be? I would recommend Verhonga, Alyssa. Verhonga Savannah is really good. It's such a fun map. It's also a fan favorite. A lot of people love Verhonga. These moose have no manners? Yeah, pretty much. Moose are rude. They are rude dudes. Great one in five minutes? That'd be great. One. A great one. That's what it would be. A great one. Let's try to get these down. Ah, gosh. What? A Come on, man. You're pushing them out of the way. Pushing them away from my bullets. That, that's just rude. That missed somehow. Subpar shooting, but I think we got three of them. What should you hunt? Um, how about reindeer? I uh, know that bug is still a thing, B Dog. It's still a thing, unfortunately. Justin, thank you for the three months, dude. Welcome back. You're our squad. Shout out to my homies. Glad to be here. How's it going, dude? Welcome back. And Star Wars for Life, thank you for becoming a member as well. Enjoy the emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads, and all the other good stuff that comes with it. Thank you so much. Ooh, feels bad utmost. It, it seems like that's a, a pretty common thing with the moose, though. We're having trouble getting this level 5 to come back. He just refuses to show back up. We'll give him one more shot. If he's not there the next time we go there, we're going to have to main menu. Otherwise, he's never going to come back. Some small males downrange. Reloading probably would have helped. Hey, Balin, it's going good. I hope your day is going good as well. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I came out of nowhere. <laughs> Y'all ever just be like chilling, and then you get like an instantaneous tickle in, in your throat, and you cannot help but cough that instant? Like there's no holding it back? That's what just happened there. Excuse me. I, I can't explain it any better, JJ. I explained it the best I possibly could. Not much else I can say. 
I, I explained it the best I possibly could. You spot an animal, hover over the spotted icon, and that'll be your distance. It'll tell you in the bottom right. You don't have to have a special perk or anything for it. Later, Carly. Thank you for being here. What is better, 300 Magnum or the 7 mil? Uh, 7 mil in terms of versatility, 300 in terms of uh, the sheer damage output for larger animals that are class 7 to 9. Let's see how far these guys went. Uh, not too far. Not too far at all. Did you miss anything? Yeah, Benny, you missed a level 3 albino, and then we've got a level 5 on the map that we're trying to kill, but he keeps getting away. He's a real stubborn one. It is a little bit weird, Mr. Moose Hunter. There's definitely some handling problems with the ATVs that they could improve on. Is there a species in the game that you don't have a diamond of? There's a few of them, Kyler. Uh, there's a few different ones that I don't have a diamond of yet. We're gonna need to get that guy to stop right here. Might go for the other one as well. Or... Instead. Actually, he's giving us a great shot. Oh, you gotta get a perk for that, Archie. There's a perk that allows you to spot stuff through your scope. It's called sight spotting, and it is part of the, um... Oh, what's it called? Not a perk, a skill. Part of the ambusher skills, right here. What is it about grinding different species that keeps the game interesting for me? Uh, I mean, it's still basically the same thing over and over again. Uh, just different trophies do it. That's really what it comes down to, just having different trophies that I want that I don't have. And the fact that I don't have it makes me want it. And that gives me motivation to grind for it. Which is why I still periodically return to the uh, bear grind, even though I absolutely despise every second of the bear grind. Uh, it still brings me back because I don't have a great one bear. Same goes for the moose right now, like, I don't have a special fur type, like a fabled fur type, on a great one moose, so it, it keeps me coming back because I just gotta get one. I gotta get one or I'll feel like I haven't accomplished what I set out to do. That's a decent little level four there. Got a 271 whitetail today? That's not too bad. Pretty good one. These moose are getting smarter. They're running into their still alive buddies so that they don't get hit. Honestly, pretty smart of these moose. <laughs> They're getting smarter. Beautiful. Now we just gotta wipe out the two over here. Which shouldn't be too tough. Is there any others? Sometimes we get a straggler male over here, but not this time. Might be able to get that guy too. That'd be all three of them in this area. There, now he's alerted. Come on, turn around. Face us for once. Got him, beautiful. That went surprisingly well. He's got a big horn cape, nice gunner, that's awesome. The moose are developing an intelligence beyond our understanding. Definitely Megatron, I can agree with that. They definitely are. 
Yeah, you might just be too close at most. You might just be too close to do it. Honestly, if you're that close to them, you can probably get them to go alert just by running around a little bit. That might be your best option right now. Let's get these last two over here and then we'll fast travel to the others. Yeah, I've killed a diamond wildebeest before. I've got a few of them. They're pretty nice. I like the wildebeest. Have I ever hit an animal while trying to do the 22 trick? Yes, I have. Um, primarily when whitetail grinding, I've accidentally popped a doe a few times. And then, of course, the whole herd just runs away. Capricali, I asked about, ended up being a diamond. Nice, Brayton, that's awesome. Love the diamond Capricali, they're really cool. There's one, the other's over there, and then the third one ran off. I don't think we got it uh, in the heart. I'm pretty sure pretty sure it ended up going uh, a good distance, which means we probably lunged it. Or maybe even missed the lung, hard to say. Pretty soon I'm going to need to go get some water. My throat's dying without it. That's a solid level three there. That guy's giving us a better angle though. Wow, that hit. Crazy that that hit. Not going down. Oh no, dude, that sucks. Uh, we have not got the diamond yet, Cage. It's not coming back to its zone, so... We're gonna have to try and get it to come back. I don't exactly know how we're gonna do that without main menuing. What should you hunt now? Just got done with your whitetail grind? I mean, how about some moose, Judson? Might as well, right? Might as well jump onto the moose grind. Did I even drop that other one? I don't think I did. I think we missed the heart. Let's find that blood. Yeah, we definitely missed the heart. It'll go down, but... Yeah, it's right there, actually. Just didn't get the heart like I hoped. Unfortunate. It's got no front paddles. I mean, those can still make diamond. There's a couple no paddle ones that can make diamond. Drawn, thank you for the two months. Dude, welcome back. Things are going pretty good so far. Got a fabled birch just hanging out on your map right now. Nice, Lizzie, that's awesome. That is the, uh, that is the fur type I so badly want. Fable Birch looks so good. Did I get him? Nope, I hit the other one twice, I guess. Feels bad. We got the big boy, though. Oh, I've heard countless stories like that, little legend. I have heard countless stories like that one. Definitely a very common thing when you first start out. Uh, Johnny, thank you for the six months. Welcome back. And finally do this. Wouldn't let me do it yesterday. Thanks, YouTube. I know, right? YouTube doing their thing as always. Gotta love it. Yeah, JR, I remember you. There's the big boy.
All right, let's check. Is our five back? Thoughts on a Kansas map? Ah, to be honest, I'm kind of tired of uh, United States maps at this point. Especially after New England. I feel like New England was such a flop. There he is. There's our level five moose. Let's seal the deal already. Let's get him down. We're going to get extra close this time and take our, take our sweet time on him. There's a chance that he doesn't even make it, unfortunately. He does have paddles on both sides, so that's good at least. Come on, buddy. Going attentive. Uh, no, Wild Cherry. The only reason people main menu is to get the animal to stop being spooked. Whenever you main menu, it, uh... It gets them out of their spook state. Because it's within 0 and 25% health, Owen. We shot it with a bow once already, and the shot did not connect vitally. So now we're going in for a second shot. Get our dog to lay down. I don't want him moving. Come on now, you guys. Chill out. Especially you, sir. Sixty meters. I want to get to thirty if we can. Just so we don't mess up a shot again. Try to change the button to shoot in way of the hunter and it won't change. It says the shoot button is what I changed it to. But I still have to use the default button. I, I'm not sure, Reed. I don't know what to tell you there. I haven't messed around with the uh, control schemes in that game in ages. Only attentive, okay. This guy might be alert though. Nope, he's calm. Perfect. 45. He's still attentive. If I get up, he'll definitely go alert. Forty-five. That wind is awful, though. I hate that wind. Still forty-five. I think we can do this now. What a wipeout. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. That's not cool, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Run away. Have fun, Rudolph. <laughs> well, that was quite the uh, chain of events there. Look at that boy. Kind of had a rough first shot, but you know, the second one, it went much better. <sighs> all that, all that time for a troll. All that time for a troll. I'm okay, I promise. All that time for a troll. Thank you, Call of the Wild. We love you. We really do. All right. Well. 
all that for a troll, guys. Let's main menu. That was like, what, five points off, pretty much? Feels bad. Feels bad. Feels bad, but it happens. That rack like never makes it. I, I think I've had it make it a couple times, but definitely not a lot. Definitely not a lot. And only one of the herds is here, so we can shoot them and then reset the time again, and the other herd should show up. Down he goes. So yeah, we should be able to do a reset. And get the other herd to show up, I imagine. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Yep, the other herd's here, I believe. Yep, that's definitely the other herd. That went a lot smoother than the first one. Uh, yeah, we got a troll, and then we also got an albino lake. And the albino was like a small level three, but still pretty good looking. It's been a very uh, eventful day already. The troll was quite the chase to try and even get it down. Oh, move your nose out of the way, ma'am. I hit her. <laughs> I hit her right in the nose. Oh, man. Had a feeling that was going to happen. Had a feeling. Oh, no worries, Tucker. The way to do it, man. 0.65 off diamond. That's really close, man. Really close. So what is everybody's most recent diamond that they've got? Let me know in the chat. Hey, Denise, how's it going? Thank you for the uh, congrats there. No great one today, baseball clips. We did get an albino and a troll, though. So it's not a, not a completely fruitless day. We've had a couple trophies. We haven't checked this lake in a while. We should probably do a quick little run by here and see if there's anything. Got a 270 whitetail today. Nice toaster. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, there is a moose there. We do got a male there. Hey, buffalo. Nice, nice. Red deer, moose, reindeer, black bear, a diamond pig. Ooh, nice. That's a good one. Oh, oh, that's big. I don't think that's diamond, but that's big. Two seventy four whitetail. That's a nice uh, diamond to get. Wait, that actually might be. Hold on, that might be a diamond four. I swear to God, if the four makes it, but the five didn't, it's gonna be sad. I think this rack actually has a better chance of making it than that five did. This guy's bigger than I thought. Now that I see the brows. Can we get him on the run? He might die before I even get to see him again. Yeah, I think he definitely died. I think that one's gonna make it. I actually think that's a much bigger one.
A 110 Ronda, nice, right? Nice. Did the five troll? It did, that level five trolled. Two sixty five Whitetail, nice, Mr. Moose Hunter. What map is the best for Red Deer? Uh, the best map is Tiabaroa, in my opinion. Some people like other maps more, but I think Tiabaroa is just it's just so good for Red Deer. Hush now, little moose. Is 465 big for reindeer? Yes, that's huge. That, that is a monster. And 261. I was wrong. This isn't the diamond rack. It's close, though. It's close to being the diamond rack. Um, I would check other areas, BTRX. I would check other areas. There's a high chance that what's happening is they're going to different areas. Nine times out of ten, whenever you see respawns not showing up where you shot them, they're probably just in a different area. Thank you, Moose Hunter. I'm glad you enjoy them. A few small males over there. Nice. We got both the hard shots. Didn't get him, though. Ooh, smoked him on that second one, though. He'll definitely go down. Oh, you are, Johnny? Nice, nice. Is that just from picking it up, or what? Do they really have that much just, like, floating around in that game? Oh yeah, we've all been saying that Megatron, because Jaxie did. He um He said it in the stream that the uh the other features coming with this update are better than the weapon pack. That's what he said. He said that the rest of the update is better than the weapon pack is. In his opinion, of course. Nice, Johnny, that's awesome. It's nice that it's easy to earn that stuff. There we go. I right, later do it. Thank you for being here. Hey, on the way up, how's it going? Yeah, hopefully, Megatron. That's definitely a very highly, uh, highly asked for feature, so I can see that being part of it. There's a lot of different things that we've been wanting for a while. Uh, considering I have a daughter, Christy, uh, you're already wrong. When is the new pack coming out? It'll be the 14th of this month, uh, Baseball Clips, so nine days from now. One oh two. You hope that five new maps come out? I mean, I'm sure over the years we'll get five more, but we typically get two per year. One in June, one in December. So it's about three months or more till our next map. Oh, I'm sure they'll be fixed, Andrew. I couldn't see them not fixing it. If they didn't, that'd be a bad look. 
So I think they will. I know Jaxie said there's going to be a lot of bug fixes, so... We will have to see what they are. Oh, smoking them. Oh my gosh, four for four. That might be the best that we've done all day at a zone. Four for four on the heart shots. Amazing. Hey, Duck, how's it going? Yeah, hopefully, man. Hopefully. Jaxie's been making it out as if this update's gonna be pretty big, so. I'm expecting a lot. I got high hopes. I guess we will have to see when it comes out, though. No, Zach, it'll be a few weeks before I get it. YouTube has a thing where, like, uh... You have to, like, apply for it, and then it takes two to three weeks in order to get it. So, I, I applied for it, like, a week ago. They shipped it yesterday. And so, it's gonna be another two to three weeks, probably, before I actually receive it. It's a very lengthy process. And to be honest, I'm starting to think that the people that always said that they waited, like, a year to get their play button, I, I got a feeling they just never requested it, because you, you have to actually request it. I got a feeling that the creators that say they never received their play button probably just didn't apply for it. Hey, Bobby, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Hey, Sky, how's it going? Do you have to pay for the play button? No, it is free, but it's like a custom-made item, so you have to choose what you want it to say. And then, um... You have to choose, like, the channel name and, yeah, what you want the button to say, so... That's why it's, like, a custom-made item. Which is why they don't just automatically send it out. Best angle to shoot moose at, to be honest, when they're facing you. Frontal shots on moose are incredibly easy because they have really big hearts. So I always try to get them to face me. Like, this guy right here, he's kind of in a decent spot, but... For the sake of showing you the uh, frontal heart shot, we're going to get this guy to go alert, and then... Just like that, frontal heart shot. That is the best angle to take on a moose. Which is crazy, because... In a lot of cases, for a lot of other species, that is the last thing that you would want to do. Most other species, especially like deer, you want to take double lung shots broadside, but with moose, you want to go for the heart when they're facing you. Thank you, Kellen. I appreciate that. You can start the grind at any time, Froppy. I, I've never been a type of person that waits to start a grind. I never wait till I find all my zones. I start shooting them the second I find my first zone. And it's, uh, it's been fine for me so far. Hey, Pancake, how's it going? Uh, you missed an albino as well as a troll level 5. There we go. Can we get good angle to where we can get a good follow-up? Yes, we can. Beautiful. Been a while since I've got both of them at this lake. Uh, sure, the man with name. We've got a Trophy Shots channel in the Discord. 
be sure to accept your roles once you get in there. Whenever you join the Discord, go to the roles channel and like react to the ones that you want to see. Um, it'll get it'll unlock the channels for you to be able to view them. And then from them, just uh, find the Call of the Wild trophy shots uh, chat. And then uh, once we get done with the stream, I'll go check it out. They're alerted. Uh-oh. Don't like the look of that. All right, we hit him a second time and he's going down. Nice, nice. I think that means we got a double vital hit. Man, we're already down to a hundred rounds again. We burned through ammo so quick on the moose grind. Yeah, those are the two that we already killed. So it's the far zone we got to take down now. This will be a little bit more difficult, but I think we got it. Or not. <laughs> I think we hit the tree. Oh, now th they're gone. Yep, they're gone. All right. Yes, Chris, it does. It's essentially a donation. It's essentially the same thing as a donation. How many diamond and troll cape do I have? I think I've got like seven. Actually, I probably got like ten diamond cape. And I've been trolled by at least six of them. Yeah, Columbia True. At least I've got the, uh, at least I got the cash to be able to burn through ammo. What's my favorite gun in Call of the Wild? I like the 308 AR the best. What's my farthest shot? Like 520 meters using elevation. You can go to the top of the mountains and shoot downward at the animals and it'll actually let you see further than normal. It's a pretty cool trick. I've actually got a full video covering how to do it as well. But it allows you to get some pretty insane, insanely uh, long shots. You have zero diamonds and eight troll capes. Oh no, Puma, that's rough. That's real, eight trolls, really? Oh my, oh my. Crazy, dude. <laughs> like that level two, that guy's crazy small. Missed the heart on the second one. Come on, man. <laughs> that tree is blocking everything. Sometimes these trees just block every bullet. Like they're made of titanium or something. You just shot a diamond? Nice duck, man. Nice. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum, Megatron. The good old 300 Mag. What's the vid called for the shot? I believe it's called a true sniper style hunt. It's from like a year, year and a half ago. Somewhere in that range. No, Kellen, there's no way to buy in-game currency. The only way to get in-game currency is to earn it by killing animals and doing missions. Definitely recommend hunting lions or red deer if you're trying to get a lot of money in Call of the Wild. Red deer have gained me millions. Back when mountain goat hunting was good. Exactly, Johnny. Back when the mountain goats were amazing. Now they're just, you know, field goats. That's about it. Field goats and the ones that are in the mountains are in thick, thick trees. It's really unfortunate. How many kills am I on currently? Well, we're about to hit around like 1900. We're closing in on 1900 right now. Really hoping that great one will show up today. Need that thing to pop out. Level three right there.
attentive only, huh? Interesting. Very interesting and only when attentive. This guy's definitely giving us the best shot. And down he goes. Alright, let's buy a little bit of ammo. Uh, you can't just say. You gotta keep track of it as you're killing them. That's the only way to know how much you've killed is to keep track of it as you hunt them. It's going good, uh, Prism. It's going really good. Will I keep grinding till I get the fur? Oh, definitely, Kellen. I really badly want to get a fur-type great one. There we go. Should be plenty of ammo for at least a day or two. That'll probably last us like two days. Whitetail, BC. Whitetail. Let's make sure all three of the moose are here. Oh, they're not. Okay, we can't actually shoot anything here. We don't have our respawn back yet. What's the odds of a fur on the great one? Nobody really knows. It doesn't seem like it's too absurdly low. It seems like roughly like one in four or one in five ends up having a special fur type. So it's definitely possible that our next one could end up having a fur. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate it, dude. I hope you're right, Gabe. I hope you're right. That is the one that I want, so... I would, uh, would not complain about that at all. For a second, I thought that might have been Mela, but I don't think it's dark enough. I right, later, Columbia. Honestly, let's use Hyperion here. Oh, I hit him twice, I think. No, we definitely hit the other one. Nice. And it just died. Beautiful. You just got your first diamond? Nice, nice. He dodged it again. Dude, these things are escape artists, I swear. They dodge bullets like it's nothing. We can still get one more. Maybe. Come on, go alert. There we go. How'd the first one miss? How'd that first shot miss? That's actually kind of a crazy, crazy thing to see. I don't know how the first one missed. The second shot, I didn't really change where I was aiming that much. And it nailed it. Never killed a diamond. Best you ever got was a big gold. Hey, that's not bad, though, Broken Builder. Welcome back, Redmond. How's it going? Yeah, it could be, Johnny. Could have been too far. Hard to tell. We'll have to go see how far that uh, hit was. Yeah, I've had, I've had it happen a few times, uh, Alpha. Moose seem to have some type of hit registration issue. What fur type is my favorite? The Fabled Birch. With the, uh, the two-tone and the oak being very close. Alright, later, Duck. Thank you for dropping in, dude.
It was on a moose as well? Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, moose have a little bit of a hit rig issue right now. Hoping that that'll get fixed with this next update. I imagine that probably will. We'll have to see, though. Where is this other moose? We know it went over here. Might have to get the dog going after it. Over here? Alright. Guess I went past it. Thank you, BC. I'm glad you enjoy them. Yeah, hopefully, Alpha. Hopefully you'll get it, man. And yeah, hopefully we'll get the great one as well today. I was looking up hot spots for lions. What did I miss? Uh, you didn't miss too much, Alyssa. We had that albino earlier in the stream, and then we got a troll level 5. And since then, we haven't really got anything too crazy, except for a few decent fours like this guy. It's been a while since we've had a good, uh, good trophy show up. I haven't had a diamond since last night, so that's been a couple hundred kills. I got a feeling that... We gotta be due for a diamond. We got trolled once today. But we gotta be due for a diamond as well. How long will I stream? At least a couple more hours. It's gonna be a decently long stream. I'm like super addicted to the, uh, to the, um, moose right now. Yeah, it did. It ended up trolling, sadly. It happens, though. It is what it is. Just part of the game. We'll find ourselves another big male eventually. Best place to hunt lions in the savanna? There's a really big lake to the left of the starting outpost. That is considered to be one of the best lakes on all of Verhonga. It's amazing. Nice duck, man. Yeah, I've got a few different dogs that I've used in this game. I've got Hunter. Um, I had one that was named Wolf, which was kind of like a meme. It was kind of like a meme name because one day when I was hunting on Yukon, I accidentally said Wolf instead of Wolf. And so everybody in chat, of course, erupted with like, Wolf? What? Is that even English? And so it became a thing. Now it's an emote and even have a dog named it. In game, obviously, not, not not like a real dog. I wouldn't name a real dog that, I promise. <laughs> hey, McJiggles, how's it going? Hey, Forestry. Uh, yeah, we got an albino earlier, and then we got trolled as well. The albino was quite the small little level three, also with really, really wonky antlers. It was a pretty cool one. How long do I, or how much time do I grind per day and how many kills am I able to do in that time? It depends on the day, right? For a while I took a pretty big break from grinding where I wasn't really grinding off stream, I was only grinding on stream. And, uh, but before then I was doing like 10 hour days. And like I said, after the 10 hour days were kind of done, I started doing less and less grinding because I was taking a break from it as I had just grinded so much that I got tired of it. Now we're kind of getting back into the groove of grinding a lot, so we've been grinding around like seven hours a day. Usually about four to six of that on stream. Actually, I've probably been going even more than seven then. Yesterday we streamed like what? I think it was like six hours on stream. We did uh, moose grinding. Six hours of moose grinding. And then I grinded like three hours off camera as well. So I did like nine hours yesterday, killing about 30 moose per hour. So that's like 260 kills, which is really good for Moose. That, that's definitely not too bad for Moose. Moose are a tough one. If it was Whitetail, six hours would be 600 kills, but Moose are a lot more difficult. Got to get back into the wild. It's been a minute. Oh, definitely, uh, Mar, definitely. It's, uh, it's been pretty fun recently. I've been enjoying it. 
Really excited for the new DLC. Cannot wait for that thing. Gonna be so cool to have a uh, 338 to hunt with that has more than one bullet. That's gonna be a game changer. Oh, oh, don't, don't look, guys, don't look. That was awful. That was terrible. What's my favorite map? The one that gets you to stop spamming that question, BC. That's the second question you've asked today where you spammed it like 10 times until you got an answer. Chill. There's other people in the stream as well, my guy. I can't, can't possibly see everybody's message. Gotta just chill out, man. Jeez. Where'd we shoot that first one? Did I even get the, uh, the hard shot? I don't think I did. Doesn't look like we got hard shot. That's unfortunate. I'm doing good, Jack. Doing really good. Having a lot of fun today, as always. Where'd this second one run off to? I know he ran further than the other. Ah, very low. Okay, so that was not vitals. He probably died, but it's going to be a really long trek. Uh, we're going to go for probably a couple more hours, Ryan. Hey, Season, how's it going? I've got around 110 to 120 zones for Moose. Somewhere in that range. What new great one would I like to see in Call of the Wild next? I would like to see... A uh, great one, black tail or a mule deer. An elk would be pretty sick as well. There's Mrs. Crow. Mrs. Crow is in the building. How many hours do I have in Call of the Wild? Just about to hit 5,000. How do you emote in chat? Emotes are for channel members. Hey, Caleb, how's it going? A great one bison would be cool. Yeah, I could see a great one bison being nice. Especially if it's a great one Euro bison. That'd be awesome. That'd be amazing. What time do lions drink? 12 o'clock. There's the respawn from our diamond. A little level three. Crazy. Didn't get the heart on either. They'll both go down side by side, I think. Just give it seven foot horns? Oh my. That'd be quite insane. That would definitely be quite insane. What time did I gr wait? Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> I gotta go get more water. My throat's drying up like crazy. When did I get my great one minus? Wait, I I'm confused. What do you mean? I'm trying to think of what that would be a typo for. Great one minus. Not quite sure what you mean, I'm sorry. Not quite sure what you mean. Oh, what time did I get my Great One Moose? Um, I got it like a few days after it released, actually. Pretty sure it was like three or four days after the Great One Moose released.
A level one? <laughs> I did not realize that was a male. I, I thought for sure that that was a female. I was like, man, there's only one male here. That's a little strange. And <laughs> there wasn't just one male here. There was uh, one big male and one microscopic male. What a small dude. Get that other herd to come over here. Okay, that one is the dead one. We're gonna have to reset again. Come on, herd number two, where are you? What does it mean if your herd turns to all females? It means that the males didn't respawn in the same zone. They probably respawned somewhere else. Not hitting the heart shots this round. That was a decent shot, though. Ah, they should all go down. I don't think we'll have to put any more shots into them. To the wall of shame. Sounds about right. If we can track him down, that is. I did make a pretty poor shot on him. Have there been any dimes? We had one troll, but no diamonds. We did get an albino as well, though. Got him. Um, I've had... I've had 18 whitetail great ones. I've got every single rack except for the typical rack. That's the only one I don't have. And of course it's the one that I want. <laughs> of course the one that I want is the one I don't have. What brand do I use to customize my PC again? Um... I went to Ironside PCs. And then like all my other PCs that I've had, I custom built using a PC part picker. Exactly what we're doing right now, Spork. Lots of great one grinding. Great one grinding is how I've earned all of my money in the game. Or at least the vast majority of it. Because great one grinding is just a great way to get money. Oh. That got him. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, Lionel. Pretty much, yeah. I did a bit of grinding after the end of the stream last night, but not a ton. So we're pretty much right where we were. Will Way of the Hunter ever be on PS4? No, it won't be on PS4. They have said that they're not going to do old gen. You'll get it eventually, Spork. Just got to keep on going, man. Got to keep on going. Way of the Hunter is only on Xbox Series S and X and PlayStation 5 and PC. And if I'm being honest, it could not run on an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4. It would break. Like, it would it would not be able to be ran. There's already a lot of performance problems on high-end PCs and PlayStation 5 and the Series S and X. There's no way Way of the Hunter could run on a PlayStation 4. You'd be getting like 10 FPS. It'd be so laggy. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. Exactly. Like, Caitlyn can't even run uh, Way of the Hunter. She can run Call of the Wild fine, but can't run Way of the Hunter. You have to have a pretty beefy rig to run that game. We hit them all, but two were mediocre shots.
Down he goes. I think we killed three of the four. The other one, we didn't get vitals. Biggest ones, uh, Du Bois. Or Du Bois. That would be the way you would do it. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. That just shows the massive difference. There's one of them. I don't know where the other one went. <sighs> Welcome back, Faded. How you doing, dude? Oh, the other one ran right there. So this is the one that we watched die. What do I think is the best deal for the Steam Decks? Uh, the best one. Always get the highest one for the uh, Steam Deck. It's well worth the small price difference. Because you actually get some pretty substantial upgrades for going for the... The most expensive Steam Deck. I think the price is only like, what? A couple hundred more than the lowest one? And the performance upgrades are pretty substantial. And the storage upgrade as well. It's definitely worth like if you're if you're gonna get a Steam Deck, go for the best one. Is there a Great One Wolf? No, there isn't. That would be cool, but there is no Great One Wolf. Nice, sad boy. Level four there. And down he goes. Alright, later McTiggles. Thank you for being here, dude. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are enjoying the stream and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's a pretty massive uh, help in uh, helping the channel reach more viewers. Only melanistic and albino are rare for mountain goats. Yes, exactly. Those are indeed the only rares. Yeah, that'd be pretty crazy, Doug. That'd be pretty wild. Did you get the diamond? We did, but sadly it trolled. Sadly, it wasn't a diamond. Um, if that's your options drawn, definitely the Steam Deck. Um, a good laptop with like the same performance as a Steam Deck would probably be a few hundred more. Given there's more you can do with a laptop, but if you're just getting it for gaming, the Steam Deck's the best deal. Where's the great one, man? Where's the great one, Moose? <laughs> I hit his nose somehow. I don't know how I managed that, but I, I nose shot him. Poor dude got booped. Literal booped. How did that miss? That one hit. Um, I think we're honestly going to go ahead and jump off, guys. We've gone for two and a half hours. I know I said I wanted to go longer, but I, the more I think about it, if we're going to do the stream with hopefully Brobra and Kill Clinton tonight, we're going to need to have some time in between. So, yeah, we're probably going to jump off now.
because we got to go alive again at like six o'clock on Sons of the Forest. So we will see. We will see uh, if Brobra and Casey are going to do that. If they don't want to do it tonight, then I'll definitely jump on Call of the Wild again tonight. But thank you all for being here. Honestly, it was a pretty decent stream. We got a troll and then an albino and uh, had some pretty insane shots. So thank you all for being here, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later tonight. Peace.